Hello everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls. Bit of a change in getup. I uh, decided I was going to lighten the load a little bit. Uh, took off Havel's ring. Now, as much as that sounds crazy, I uh, thought I'd give a uh, an attempt at doing it as well. Basically, I just needed to balance my weight so that it wasn't too heavy without it, uh, which is what I've done. Uh, I think our physical defense has actually gone up. What we're mainly going to have lost is... Um, what's the word? Our poise. Uh, which is unfortunate, but uh, overall this is going to end up better because by the end of this area uh, we're going to attain... Prob the only unmissable item in this area is the Chloranthi Ring, which increases um, our... I'll get my words out eventually. Basically it increases our uh, stamina regen regeneration even further, <clears throat> which is going to make us even cooler. Now before we do that we are going to try and get hold of some of these crystal lizards. Now, I'm pretty certain I know where all of them are. Wow, I thought that was going to be a death straight away then. Um, I think I've actually ended up on the wrong branch. Whoa, be really careful in here. Branches are capable of killing you. Um, <laughs> luckily, I was able to get straight back up there. That was, uh, that was pretty risky. I'm trying to get onto the other branch that you can see just directly below there. Which apparently... It's harder to hit than I thought it was. There we go. Obviously, fall control, absolutely vital to making these jumps without dying. Um, and now to remember where the parts are we need to jump off. So, yeah, so the next bit we need to get to is right down there. Look. Absolutely ridiculously treacherous. So, this bit's easy. Uh, this bit here is the part. Whoa, that's like sending me into the wall. That's not good. That's horrible. Really? I'm stuck. Oh my god, that's insane. Come on now. Alright, there we are. So let's line this up as best we can. So we want it to that bit there and that bit there looks sticks out the furthest. So we just drop off here. Now this is going to require some... Um... Oh, I nearly slid off. That was horrible. Uh, this is probably going to require a few... Um quit outs to get everything to appear directly ahead of us there should be one crystal lizard which hasn't appeared so yet we are going to need to quit out for that and then we should have at least one more here get it oh no okay so let's have our first one now then i apologize if this takes a while this episode is likely to be quite long just because of the nature of the area um and death is also quite likely so go figure here we go Stop talking about right, so let's let's try this instead. God damn it. Oh my god, I'm just totally failing. Right. That's what I need. Downward slash. Okay, let's give this a go. Now three of three of them are gonna appear exactly where we are now. Um obviously it is gonna help if you have a, a weapon that uh, does like a downward slash type attack. Right, let's get straight on you. There we go. Come on, get him. Wow. No! Come on. No! There we go, that's one down. Cool, too much to go. Um, big reason for doing this is basically we're just going to get loads of upgrade stones. Which allow us to upgrade a plethora of items. Don't quite know what I want to upgrade yet, though. I guess at this point... <laughs> Having the Chloranthrine would have been an advantage. No, don't let him disappear. There we go, that's another one down. Red Titan Chunk, that's handy. Let's see if any of these others have appeared. There are two more that can appear in this tunnel as well. This is five out of the ten just on this uh, in this area alone, so we need to get all these ones now that we're here. Nope, don't let him disappear. Nope. Nope. So I guess being patient with them as well also helps. <laughs> so I think that's three. Two more to go. One appears on this corner as well, so we need to be careful of keeping an eye out for that. Let's give this another go. Do, 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 do. Now some of them are easy to find as well. Some of these locations are actually quite easy to get to. These are probably the, this is probably the hardest kind of nest of them to find. 
Maybe that's you. And it's just one more that can appear in here. And I'm sure it's right at that corner. But it's not appeared even once yet. Which is quite frustrating. So let's, uh, let's try it right here. Because it may well have like aggroed on me before and I might have just not seen it while I was uh, in the other place. I can hear it already. I think. No, maybe not. Okay, let's try one more time. I'm positive there's meant to be another one. And I noticed in the last episode I said positive a lot. I really apologise for that. Uh, also, hopefully the cursor isn't showing on the uh, <clears throat> on the recording this time. I'll have to check it after we're finished. But, uh... This really doesn't want to appear. I was absolutely certain there'd be another one. Now, in case you guys haven't noticed, we can hear basilisks below us. So do be careful in this area. Curse is an issue. Maybe I already got the one that was inside of here. Uh, and I've just forgotten. Either way, uh, even if I have missed one, it's not like it's essential. Um, you should get a total of five at the end of this, and that's how you get them to appear. So, <clears throat> With that be done, let's go back to uh, make sure we don't take damage when we jump off this. Here we have the Basilisk already aggroing on me. Come on. Wow, that was bad. Just totally missed. I don't need to be walking into none of your mist. Damn it, go away. Damn, my damage is so poor. Um, luckily, the uh, the armor set that I've got on gives pretty good curse resistance. I'm not happy with uh, how these guys are... No, get out of that. No! Got me. Damn, that's terrible. That is terrible. I should have just kind of rushed a bit more. That's the first time I've ever been cursed. Alright, let's see if I've got what it need to uh, to get rid of that. I, really, I don't even know if I have a purging stone. I do not. <laughs> That's terrible. Right, okay. So. Um, for this episode, at least, I'm going to be on half HP. And I can't quite remember the way back there without going the same way we've already been. And I can't remember where the other ones appear at. There's no point in me going back into there because that's just difficulty for no reason. Where does the other one of these appear at? There's my bloodstain. There's Claranthi Ring. There's the bonfire. Right, another one does appear just directly on the beaten path, so uh, I'm gonna try and find that. Where is it? There you go, positive one appears here. So let's do this. Damn, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Can't believe I got cursed! That never happens to me. Where are you? Whoa! Oh, I got my souls back. Not that they're uh, essential to me anyway. Right, let's enact some revenge here. Come on, get it! No! There's no reason I should be dying to these so easily. These are really bad. Get out. There we go. At least with a good amount of souls. Alright, where's the other one? I don't know, for a second I thought it was two more down there then. I was going to say, should only be three in here. Get. Alright, so I guess I could have dealt with these beforehand and I wouldn't have had to uh, 
to deal with them. So yeah, this is where we jumped off before. So I'm just here. Well, so with that cleared, we might as well go and grab Claranthi Ring. And I'm sure there's um meant to be a crystal lizard on here. I'm gonna try to make it appear again. Now, none of these are, are essential to the playthrough, but it's just nice to get them. And sometimes I, I'm sure I can hear the audio cues for them as well. I mean, it could well just be the clothing that I'm wearing, but I don't think it is. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and get the Claranthi ring just because... I definitely want to forget that. Oh, look at that. There's one. How do I get to that? Oh, I know how I get to that. Yeah, I know how I get to that. I was going to grab that one. Oh, I thought it was going to fall off then. That would have been annoying. Right, and so we need to go... Further up this branch, and roll off the end. Like so. He's already disappeared, has he? There's another one. Let's have you. Come on, get it! Quick, before it disappears. This is horrible. <laughs> Just in time. Come on! There's one more. I'm just got to get one more. There we go. So that's that done. Uh, we have this other one here. We should be able to make room here. So I think that's what? Six or seven of them? There's two more on a perch, and I'm sure it's the other one that I just couldn't get to appear on the uh, on the walkway. I'm not sure I could hear it. Where has he gone? No, apparently not. Come on. Looks like Crystal Lizard Town, right? At least they've shown me the other one is. <clears throat> I can't believe I'm carrying on with like half health. Half health. That's so funny. Just really doesn't want to reappear for me now. Damn you! I actually think we can get a uh, purging stone at the bottom of this place, so it should not be too, too bad. Oh, come on. Come on, dude, where are you? There he is. Sometimes it just takes a while. Now, if it dies going down there, that should also work. But it didn't. Well, that's kind of annoying. Right, let's give it one more go then, shall we? Clearly I need to be on this side so it doesn't drop off. At least that's a lesson that you guys will have to, will be able to learn without, without making the same mistake I did. Come on. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. There it is. Right, let's get you into here. Dum 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 dum. There we go. Set you down. And then I guess we jump onto that. Right. No! I lived. <laughs> right. Now we can go and grab Claranthi Ring. Which I think is right here. This is where we drop off. I don't know if we're meant to go on this branch. I guess might as well try. I'm right next to the bonfire anyway. 
just so that fall wouldn't kill me. Oh, I've already got it on. Okay. Here we go. Clementi Ring for increased stamina regeneration of doom. Um, should basically mean that stamina is uh, practically limitless for us. I'm trying to remember the best way out of this bit. I don't know if it is this way. I can't see an advantage to go that way. So let's go out here first. I do need four control back on. Damn. Ah, oh. ooh, so close to me uh, running off that then. All right, let's check this way first. Not to miss any goodies. All right, see, I've already been there. That's cool. So we'll do this little drop off. For that. Titanite chunk. Now all of the other items are just Titanite, so there isn't really too much importance in them. Careful of all this. Just wants to try to push you off. As you can see. Uh, okay. Let's go down here like this. Oh, there's where the next ones are, look. Let's make this reappear as we go down. Obviously, can roll over that way, but let's just make sure there's nothing for me to collect in this little bit while I'm here. Don't think there is. That looks like a much more natural progression. We are going to want to get to the, that branch, though. <coughs> That was like a roll to me. Perfect. Damn, that bit there doesn't even look like it should push you off, and it does. Okay. So we can drop onto any of this. Now, generally, you want to go for obviously the uh, the half kind of almost cut looking. Pass. I'm pretty sure the round stuff you'll generally uh, fall off it. Uh, yeah, we're going to want to go up this way for that one. Look. This bit's a blue titanite. It's actually pretty handy for us, I think. And obviously, if you look down there, look, you can see the way back up. Should you want to retry some of this. Right. That looks like I can get under there, but first then, let's check under this way. There's nothing that we need to get a drop off onto. That's probably the hardest one to get, I think. Just because of how much it is a pain. How much of a pain it is to get there. Ooh, that's going to have been a bad way for me to go. Dull. I think I might have actually just killed myself. In fact, no. Can I get it back over there? No, it doesn't look very good to me. The only thing I can think of is if I can uh, roll to that. <laughs> if this works, I'm very lucky. Nope. Fall control there probably stopped me from dying. Um. Oh, I nearly dropped down there. I didn't want to do that. Uh, him dropping down there makes things easier. Damn. Really agile, aren't you, dude? Oh. Stone generation's almost instant at this point, which is good. Whoop. Let's get you down. There we are. I'm really going to want to get that now, just because it's going to bug me. I'm pretty sure it's not even a Titanite that I'm going to use. And then there is one of these ones that we want to drop off as well. Where is it? There we are. So yeah, we'll drop off this one as well to get that one. 
but uh, where is the lad gone? There it is. Right, let's see if we can see the drop off point. So it's that bit. Okay. Always bugs me when there's only one item left to get. <laughs> I mean, more than one item would probably bug me even more, but still. So it's one that wraps directly around the trunk at the bottom. Do 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 do. Now, uh, something else to probably say as we're going through this area is it is actually much more easy to. Oh, ah, there's the bit with the uh, crystallizers on. Now, this bit is extremely dangerous. I hate this bit for some reason. It doesn't actually let you uh, just walk up that. <laughs> for some reason, it makes you uh, either jump or roll up it. So be careful of that. And this is where the other two should appear. Nearly forgot these. I'm actually very glad we came back up now. There's one of them. Get it! I really don't want to knock it off, to be honest. Don't! <laughs> okay, so apparently this side's better. Uh, there are two of them that appear here. Which basically mean I'm missing one. Which I'm, pr I'm still sure it was on that crossroad near the top of the area. But um, for some reason I just couldn't get it to appear. Nope, nothing. Maybe I'm too close. Maybe it's to be like here. I don't know. Maybe there's a certain distance I need to be away. I've been, I've been quite lucky here. You can actually get um, some really good drops out of these guys. There's something. Here we go. Stamina generation should now be uh, really good for this. So. That's that. Large Titanite Shard. That's cool. And it's just one more. Pew Pew Master! Let's go! Come on, just one more. Come on. Where are you? Oh, I thought I heard it. Is it, like, despawning before I arrive? Is that what that little tinkle is? Ha ha! Could have been here, but I'm not. Like that. Get in that corner. There we go. Come on, give me something good. Nope. Talking Titan, Red Titan. Nope. Okay. So, uh, the only thing left then is to try to get onto that branch there in the middle. And the best way to that's going to be off there. Right. So, I want to drop off here. Hopefully this should take me round to the bottom bit. To get the item that would have missed. Uh, nope, that bit doesn't. Okay. In which case... I'm going to have to try to make a different jump instead then. This place is a real maze! Ah... Uh, Looks like it was going to hurt. Uh, so that looks like the right direction to go in. And then on here, like this. There we are. I have to take a heal, even though I've taken such little damage. That's crazy. Okay, full control. Let's get this on. Curse is really, really going to kill me. There we go. And then we have to get around this little horrible bit. And then we have to walk off here. If I don't get this, I'm not going to come back for it. Nope, find it. Good, red tie line. Yeah, it's not even for me anyway, it's fine. And then... We have... not that. Not that. Not that. Where are you? There you are. Right, I reckon we're going to roll at that. There you go. Wow, be careful here. Lots of basilisk live. Can I get you? No, I can't. I well, ain't that annoying. Can I target you from here? 
Nope, it's not gonna let me. Right, so we've got a lot of basilisks down there. I'm probably gonna end up getting cursed again, which would be really annoying. Uh, 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 uh. I would like that to have been a kill, but it's not. Luckily, though, there is a lot of space down here. No, get out of that. Get a soul item. Kill him! No! That should have been a stun. Get it! Oh my god, really? No! Get out of the mist. Target the wrong one. Kill it! Right, there we go. It's one down. Got missed. What I'll do is just have one of them come at me on its own. Come on. Wow, are they leashing? That's interesting. Well, instead of just one of one, there's the other. Ah, <laughs> try to ambush me. Cheeky, cheeky. And then you. There we go. Oh, oh, get it quick. There we go. So that sorts out all of the basilisks. Now as you can see, they do actually give pretty good souls. Um, although I would advise having a weapon probably more higher upgraded than mine if you intend on farming them. Uh, the curse affliction that I happen to be handling right now. How do I get to that? That's going to be another drop down through the floor, right? I can see it there, look. Yeah, so we need to get through there. Right, so that was over this way. Oh. I'm guessing. Probably out over here, right? There it is. Right, so. I reckon if I drop onto that, it's just going to make me glitch, glitch off of it. That's what I reckon. I reckon you meant to... Go out over this branch. Maybe. I could just be totally wrong here. I've got a massive, massive feeling that, that thing there is going to push me off. It did. I survived, though. <laughs> Just barely. Right. So, obviously, feel free to experiment with that. I'm pretty sure you probably end up having to go on that hot, that one just there, and then roll over to avoid getting pushed off. But, again, it's only Titanite shot. It's only for Titanites, and uh, the risk is very, very high, to be honest, <laughs> for what you're getting out of it. Now then, there is another item here which isn't quite as hard to get, and it is still more just more Titanite, but, um... Whoa, beans them here. Carefully, these guys, they do hit quite hard. Where is it? There it is. Right. So we kind of want to go... on here. Oh, no. That was bad. No, it wasn't. Haha. <laughs> Got it. Titanite chunk. That's actually a pretty good item. Uh, not going to bother fighting them. They really don't drop anything particularly great. Uh, and as you can see, the souls are terrible. Uh, careful of Daddy here. He will uh, literally one-shot you. Especially if you've been cursed like I have. Uh, and the fact that I have been cursed is probably going to make this next area a little bit tougher. But I don't think it's going to be too tough for me to handle. So we should be fine. Here we are in Ash Lake. Right outside, as you can see over there, is Bonfire. Really cool atmospheric area. Careful on the left, we have another Hydra to deal with. Um, which really is the, the biggest risky thing here. But I'm positive that there are some enemies here that drop the purging stones that we'll need. There is, of course, the question of whether or not Remedy would cure this, but I don't think it would. You can have a look at the uh, tooltip for it, though. Hello everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls. Um, don't know if I'm going to edit, edit this in to the previous uh, episode or not. 
uh, just yet. Uh, I've already faced the Hydra a couple of times, but basically I uh, I died a few times basically because the thing one-shots me every time it gets any attack to land on me. So uh, I've kind of put that down to being cursed. Uh, of course, I am kind of lower level than a lot of people kind of get here. Usually people come here after Anolondo, and, and obviously if you're having trouble here, feel free to do that as... Uh, it does have the potential to make things more convenient. Now, I have been back to the vendor underneath the aqueduct. Got myself purging stone, and we are fine. Uh, and then basically just homeward bone my way back down here, and I've re and I've embered this bonfire. I do like to ember bonfires. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to give this a go now. Um, I was going to try using magic weapon, but then that, but that kind of requires putting <coughs> catalyst in the other hand. Which I don't really want to do. Although I do have the ability to equip two catalysts, don't I? If I wished. We could try that. I don't just notice that I'm actually walking around barefoot. Um, slightly tempted, but no. Such guys. No, you know, just, let's let's get some. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, pretty confident that uh, the extra health is going to help out. And there's my souls from the last time I was here, which is kind of funny. He's going to try the range attack at me in a second. So. Oh. Damn, they still one-shot me. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> well, let that be a lesson. Why was I in four humanity? Oh, of course, there was, there was hum this humanity in my body. That's why. Okay. Let's try that again. Obviously, the range attack still one-shots me. I don't know about its heads, though. That's pretty damn rude, I have to say. Lit kind of unblockable as well. I mean, I don't know if it's just kind of how because it's an AOE or something and it comes from the ground, but really quite a rude attack. Come on. Come over for some melee attacks instead. No, don't do that. You don't want to do that. That's better. Come on. Come in close. Come in close. Here we go. Especially now that I know that uh, moving sideways confuses your. Uh, your AI a little bit. Boom. Right, let's just fling a load of this into there, like that. Oh, it got me. Wasn't expecting that, but okay. But, as I wanted, it's now not just kind of one-shotting me. I do actually have a chance of surviving some of its hits. No! Right, I basically just might as well ping one across, because the other ones just aren't hitting. There we go. safe or safer as this game would have you think there you go, there's a head gun it of course really doesn't like that <laughs> Do 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 do. Which way? That way? Oh, missed. No, I didn't. Come 
<laughs> Much quicker. Also, you guys didn't say how long it took, so it took me to get through some of this the last time. <laughs> Uh, I have already been this far. I did actually get very close to killing it on one of my on one of my tries earlier, but um, the fact that it just one shot me was was a little bit obscene. Mm -mm. I was gonna try its ranged attack on me. Oh, that's not very nice. No, it's not. Yeah, I have that. Another head bites the dust. That's good. Switch. No! Oh, I'll just one shot now, that's good. So I guess maybe before it was because. There were so many heads. Goes really quickly from that cross one. Very difficult to get hit, hit in with that one. Yeah, got one in there. It's also worth noting we can hit that. Well, I thought we could anyway. Dust. There we go. It's all but tamed at this point. So few has left. Mm. I say so few. It's still like three. There Severe lack of uh, any homing when you're not locked on, it's really, really painful. Particularly sometimes it just seems to want to not go where you're facing. There we go. the second one just never hits. Get in there, get in there, get in there. What are you planning? What are you planning? Missed. We're only halfway through them though, so that's fine. to one in there. So close. God damn it. The show so should have hit. <laughs> Trying to hit the stump there but it didn't work. Just clip through it which is annoying.
I thought I killed it for a second. This point, so close to suffer. Where's the last head? There we go. Two left. With so very little health that it may die before I actually even get to the last one. Yeah, we go. Cool. Hydro down, 10,000 souls. Love it. Over this way, we've got some more items. I did actually have to use a few of my soul items to uh, to afford the 6,000 souls it takes to cure Curse. <laughs> Which is uh, kind of frustrating, to say the least. But that is the... The main threat of this area done and dusted now, so it's all good. So we're gonna go ahead and reset, get ourselves some uh, some spells back. Um, we've then got great magic barrier, I believe, which is a buffer shield. Um, very good if you're not using the grass crush shield. We may even uh, experiment with that later on. Just probably spend these souls so we don't lose them. Level up. Um, I mean, I'm really needing more damage, but uh, where should I get that damage from becomes the question. I think I'm just going to have to upgrade my weapon a bit higher. So for now... Beans are taking the Havel Ring off. Probably a good idea to get Endurance up. Endurance is Vitality. Uh, probably needs boosting. We do need to get Intelligence moving pretty quickly as well, being as we're going to come across a new spell vendor pretty shortly. But uh, we still have some pretty dangerous enemies around here as well. There's still a couple of basilisks in the area, so um, worth knowing. I did actually find out as well. I did try to um, to run down this way to see if we could actually do the rest of the area um, without killing the Hydra. Uh, basically, it's an experiment, and uh, it will actually jump over the uh, the sandbank as you come down here. It was actually quite spectacular to see. <laughs> to be honest but uh, yeah you can't get away from it basically uh, now as far as I'm aware these guys have the potential to drop um, a couple of that move oh no not that one I think that one actually just hurt but it has a, uh, a move where it attempts to swallow you these guys I believe have the potential to drop I think he's stagger with Soul Arrow there. That's kind of weird. Have have the ability to drop. Um, I'll get there eventually. Purging stones. So if you happen to want to farm for one, these guys should be able to drop you one. But uh, not my most favourite of enemies, and they don't really give you very much either. So no real need to be killing them. As you can see, they have a lot of health, a lot of defence. Uh, and are quite dangerous for very little reward other than that. Well, I guess there's probably a chance they drop um, uh, Dragon Scales too, so be aware of that. But nope, the main reasons to come down here will be revealed shortly. One of which is Covenant, which I need to get for the achievement anyway. Careful of this, you don't want to sprint over here at all. He's kind of floating in the water. Interesting to say the least because we can't actually float. And yeah, we continue along this. Uh, and I believe there's a hidden drop down. There we go. I think it's that that we want. Just have a look around here. Yeah, because that's the normal way in. So yeah, I want this way. Here is yet another secret, within a secret, within a secret, within a secret. These ones have less health, good. Right, let's get in some space here. Means we have it, we'll use it. What? The tracking on this is so terrible. <laughs> it's funny. Some people just don't know how good they had it in Dark Souls 2. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that's going to be a eye of death, which is cool. Covenant item. Would be nice to get 30 of those. Whoa, I didn't know you were in there. Maybe I'm going the wrong way here. Like I say, these guys hit like a truck. Do not let him hit you. Uh, we'll kill him though, just because of the fun of it. There's not really many enemies to care about around here, and there's no actual boss, so that's all good. Ah! God damn it, target. Target him! Why is it so difficult to lock onto that big guy? He's massive! And as with anything that's ever slow. <laughs> He will hit you like a truck. Might be another one in there. But again, oh, a thousand souls, that's not too bad. I believe you can drop like an Elizabethan mushroom or something like that. Um, which is kind of like a healing item, which isn't too bad. I believe. Right. Is this where I'm thinking? Yes, here we go. Go drop into that in a minute. So yeah, we come out here. Careful about getting cursed. Whoa. Get out of my way. There's still basilisks left. That's not nice. No! Don't don't push me off. Right, so we go across the air. Never what? I don't remember you being there. Go away. Right, follow me, because I'm not fighting you on this. Especially when there's that thing there trying to push me off. That's just not happening. Haha, -ha, you fell off. Good. I hate that little bump there. It's trying to push me off. It's just not fair. Right, let's continue. Obviously, the basilisk jumps there, not working in its favour. Uh, oh, right, so we could have just come around the outside. Okay, fair enough. And we want to get onto this bit. And we want to make sure... There's the two little sticky out bits of wood look, and you can catch onto those as well. Come on. Come on, you can do it. That's perfect. Right there, look. Come on. Come on. Come on. Really? Like, really, really? There we go. I was actually standing on nothing. It very rarely lets you get away with that. Apart from when you're trying to go down. Ah, yeah. Very much about it. Yeah, miracle. Uh, not actually all that useful for us as a caster, I suppose. But, um... A completionist's item, nonetheless. And then, lastly... Head on over this way. Uh, we got another clam thing there again. No real use for it. And all the way in here we have the dragon covenant, which won't be joining just yet. But simply by asking whether or not you want to join should unlock the achievement. Wow, you chase pretty far. Quite a cool area though. I really like how this place looks. Look at it. That's awesome. This is going to look even better in a few months time. Okay. Rest of bonfire. Now. Hello, dragon. There's my achievement. And then we're also going to want to attack this. Now, he shouldn't attack back. You should basically just slash it at times. Come on. Okay. 
chão, mano. There we go. For some reason, doesn't actually care. I don't know why that is. Uh, and with that being done, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. Uh, in the next one, it's probably going to be very, very optional because we're basically just be making our way back up to Firelink Shrine uh, in anticipation for, for what we'll be doing next, which after that will be the Undead Asylum revisited, followed by um, everybody's favourite Sense Fortress and Nano Londo. Uh, so I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Hope you're enjoying the series. Have a good one.